Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. And today we're going to conclude why we don't give up. In Ecclesiastics chapter 9 and verse 11, it says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, or yet wit riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor of men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Like we've heard many times, it rains on the just and the unjust. In other words, it is just what it says. Things that are good and things that are bad happen to us all. What makes the difference is how we handle ourselves as we go through life. 1 Corinthians 9.24 Know ye not that they which run in a race run all? But one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Do our part planning and eating right, exercising daily and preparing mentally. You know, we have to do our part if we want to be the winner. Hebrews 12.1 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness, let us say, aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. That's why we don't give up. Oh, how we need to lay aside every weight and the sin that do does so easily, so easily turn our heads the wrong way. And let us run with patience, something that, well, we all need patience. But we need godly patience. That's the best kind. Acts 1 and 8 says, But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. We have power with God when we receive the Holy Ghost, for he will lead and guide us every step of the way. You know, the Spirit of the Lord will lead us and guide us into all truth and righteousness. We have come too far to go back. And, oh, what a Savior that we have in Jesus Christ. All that we do to make heaven our home will be worth it and much more. My, how we need to get back up and keep a going. Never, never give up. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for that opportunity to know you. And Lord, help us, Lord, that we will never give up. Give us that strength, Lord, and that courage, that boldness. We know, Lord, it comes through your word and through knowing you. We just want to thank you, Lord, for this and ask you, Lord, to keep your hand upon us. Use us for your glory, regardless of what comes and what may go. Help us, Lord, to be steadfast. We thank you for it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We hope and trust that you'll have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.